input applied it is called as the excitation appa the transient response of rl cd circuit to sinusoidal excitation we are going to see okay appa sin input nam apply panumbodhu how this circuit it will respond okay idha vandu nam discuss panna porom okay so appa first one so you know so the same same procedure da nam for uh, impulse input unit step input ku eppadi nam solve pannumo adhe da inga enna vary aagum appadina input mattum da namakku vary aagum indha left hand side value mattum da namakku vary aagum right hand side vandu same rl vandu eppadi nam unit step and impulse ku solve pannumo similar method da okay appa first one so we have to consider rl circuit excited by the sinusoidal source as shown in figure right so we have to draw one series rl circuit and for this rl circuit we are applying the input is one sine wave okay sinusoidal and you know uh, sine wave abina what is the expression for the sine wave vm sin omega t right so you know the sinusoidal expression is vm sin omega t so this sine wave form is applied as a input to this rl circuit means at the time what is the current flowing through this rl circuit we are going to discuss okay it is the thing and uh, you know so here this rl is not directly connected to this sinusoidal source so using one switch we are connecting okay and we are considering at a time t equal to 0 minus okay the time t equal to 0 minus the switch was is in open condition up at that condition there is no current is flowing through this rl circuit okay about that's why the i of 0 minus value is 0 okay so the current flowing in this rl circuit uh, at time t equal to 0 minus is 0 okay this is you know and at time t equal to 0 we are closing this switch okay app if you are closing this switch abina here there is a one closed path when we make form other correct so we are getting one closed circuit appa because of this closed circuit because of this input voltage sinusoidal signal there is some current i of t is flowing in the uh, circuit okay and now our aim is to find out the value of this i of t okay but how to calculate this i of t first we have to write the kvl equation for the circuit and for the kvl equation we have to apply laplace transform uh, then from the equation we have to find the value of i of s then for this i of s we have to take the inverse laplace transform okay so this is the procedure idhe procedure da ellathukume okay nam eppadi vandha unit step input la discuss pannomo impulse input la how eppadi discuss pannomo same thing okay here the input only it is varying okay input mattum na vary aadu remaining and all same okay so but the next step is to so but here the initial current is flowing as zero okay we are considering and we are applying some sinusoidal voltage okay about the time t equal to zero the switch is closed so there is a current i of t is flowing in the circuit so we have to apply kvl for the circuit okay so you just apply kvl about according to the kvl you know this input signal v of t correct right? so v of t equal to what is the voltage across the resistor voltage across the resistor is r into i of t then what is the voltage across the inductor l into di of t divided by dt you know okay in the expression we have already know and we have to substitute the value of input voltage v of t so here what is the input we are applying sinusoidal input excitation means input so here we are applying sinusoidal input but what is the expression for one sinusoidal signal the vm into sin omega t where vm is the amplitude of that sine wave omega is the frequency radian frequency correct appa instead of this v of t we have to substitute the answer what is the answer vm sin omega t this is the sinusoidal voltage which is equal to the same thing we have to write okay appa in this equation the i of t this is our uh, this is our idha nam find out pannu okay our aim is to find out the value of this i of t so this current i of t is available in two form one is in normal form one is in differentiation form okay appa we have to solve this i of t okay appa what is the next step so the time domain method you know already i told the time domain method of solving this differential equation is somewhat tedious okay that's why we are using the method laplace transform method okay so by taking laplace transform for the above equation so we get so what is the laplace transform of sin omega t already i told you know okay the sin vm is a constant you keep that constant as as it is sin omega t the laplace transform of sin omega t is omega divided by s squared plus omega squared okay idhe idhe if it is a cos omega t abina s divided by s squared plus omega squared okay appa for sin omega t the laplace transform is omega by s squared plus omega squared 
and you know r is a constant you keep r as it is what is the laplace transform of i of t capital i of s then plus l into what is the laplace transform of differentiation of the function i of t s into i of s minus i of zero varum so here we are considering the initial current is zero that's why we neglected okay appa this is the equation appa from this one so in this uh, uh, two term the i of s is common so you take i of s common so we have to write it as r plus s into l okay appa from this one what is the frame our aim is to obtain the value of i of s appa from this you keep i of s in left side so of i of s equal to idu in the one term in the r plus s by l keela pedum appa vm omega by s squared plus omega squared into r plus s l correct ah okay and so here you see the denominator polynomial appa here in denominator polynomial first one this is s squared this is one second order equation as a function of s okay s inga da inga variable remaining ellame constant s is a variable okay and in this term one s is there but in this s there is one constant l is multiplied okay you know epayume nama denominator vandu enna structure la kondu varano s plus a illana simply s illana vandu s squared plus some constant squared and the mari structure la kondu varano appa here you have to take l as common idu eduthukona so if you are taking l as common we have to write s plus r divided by l into this one s squared plus omega squared okay and in this term this l is a constant so give to you give this l to the uh, numerator okay ena the, these two terms are a constant so that's why the i of s can be written as vm omega by l this and all constants okay divided by s plus r by l s squared plus omega squared okay up here in denominator polynomial we are getting uh, 3 s value okay this is one s value and here s is squared so okay, s is squared means this s is having two different value okay appa what is the order of the denominator polynomial third order equation right appa our aim is to so in the mari third order second order la vandha appadina namakku enna pannom we have to split this uh, polynomial i of s into single order addition of single order polynomial in partial fraction expansion method okay and this root s plus r by l it is a single root right now what is the value of s minus r by l it is separate arc. and you see s squared plus omega squared appa s squared plus omega squared means what is the root of this s appa for example appa s squared plus omega squared means how to calculate the s s value appa from this s squared equal to minus omega squared appa if you are taking square root on both side we get s equal to plus r minus j omega correct ah ena square root of minus omega squared nu varum appa square root of minus abingirad it is nothing but a j okay appa here this s squared indha mari s squared plus some constant squared indichu abina here the s value is complex conjugate roots correct ah complex conjugate mean here the s is either plus j omega or minus j omega appa here this root is real root s equal to minus r by l is a real root but s squared plus omega squared means the two roots are uh, complex conjugate roots okay appa if the roots are complex conjugate means in laplace transform how to solve abina this is the procedure okay appa ebdin parunga appa in partial fraction expansion method this i of s can be written as appa first ebdi split pannom you know the first coefficient a a divided by the first value s plus r by l okay and if this two if in the s oda value vand real ah then i am eppadi split pannu b divided by s plus m value c divided by appdi split pannu but here the roots of this second order equation is complex conjugate appa that's why we have to write this term as b into s plus c divided by the total function s squared plus omega squared ipdi da eludanum okay this is the laplace transform method if the roots are complex conjugate okay appa where a b c these three and all the uh, partial fraction coefficient okay so we how to calculate the value of a b and c okay in the three ayu nama calculate pannom okay so in order to find out the value of a b c so here so we are using the another method that is na previous ah vandu a b a epdi kandupidikkanu nu sonna a is nothing but a ku keela iruka value into i of s at s is equal to in the root value appadi pollam okay adu or method 
இப்ப இந்த மெத்தட் தான் நீங்க மேக்ஸ்ல யூஸ் பண்ணிப்பீங்க இப்ப இந்த மெத்தட்ல நான் சொல்லி தரேன் ஈக்வேட் பண்றது கோஎபிஷியன்ஸ் ஈக்வேட் பண்ணி ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் பண்றது ஓகே சோ வாட் இஸ் தி திஸ் மெத்தட் மீன்ஸ் சோ யூ டேக் எல்சிஎம் ஃபார் திஸ் தீஸ் டூ டம் இந்த டூ டம்க்கு இப்ப எல்சிஎம் விடுங்க அப்ப இஃப் யூ ஆர் டேக்கிங் எல்சிஎம் எஸ் ஆர் பை எல் எஸ் ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் ஒமேகா ஸ்கொயர் இங்க ஏ வந்து ஏ இன்டூ எஸ் ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் ஒமேகா ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் பி எஸ் பிளஸ் சி இன்டூ இந்த டம் இங்க மல்டிபிள் ஆகும் கரெக்டா which is equal to in left side what is the answer is there i of s what is the answer for this i of s this total answer okay appa you have to write this i of s value appa in this equation so this denominator this denominator same answer we are having so both the denominator gets cancelled correct so these two denominator cancelled appa we will get vm omega divided by l equal to a into this one plus bs plus c into this one okay we will get correct So, in the value tha. Okay, it is. Now, what do we do here? So, our aim is to find out the value of the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient c. Okay. So, in order to find out the coefficient a, b and this coefficient அப்ப இந்த திஸ் டம் யு சி திஸ் சிக்ஸ் டம் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் இன் திஸ் சிக்ஸ் டம் இன் டூ டம் இது என்னது இந்த இந்த டூ டம் யு கம்பைன் தீஸ் டூ டம் அப்ப இந்த திஸ் டூ டம் விச் ஒன் இஸ் காமன் எஸ் ஸ்கொயர்ட் இஸ் காமன் அப்ப இஃப் யூ ஆர் டேக்கிங் எஸ் ஸ்கொயர்ட் காமன் வாட் இஸ் ஆன்சர் எஸ் ஸ்கொயர்ட் இன்டு ஏ பிளஸ் பி கரெக்டா அப்ப தி கோஎபிஷியன்ட் ஆஃப் எஸ் ஸ்கொயர்ட் இன் தி ரைட் ஹேண்ட் சைடு இஸ் ஏ பிளஸ் பி ஓகே சிமிலர்லி யு செக் தீஸ் டூ தீஸ் டூ திங் எஸ் இன்டு சி ஓகே எஸ் இன்டு சி then another one yes there is uh, yes b r okay so here anga or s varnu inga na s or miss panikenga parunga you multiply this b s with r by l na we will get here one s okay so inga na vandha s eludha marandiruken you just write here one s okay here one s appa these two terms are s coefficient correct right? so these two terms are coefficient of s okay similarly a omega squared r c by l these two values are constant okay there is no s term s square term there is a constant okay appa you see in left side only constant is there there is no s term there is no s square term appa we have to equate the coefficient of s square we will get a plus b equal to 0 since uh, in left side there is no s square term correct we will get one equation similarly if you are equating the coefficient of s here in the s varano okay so here you just put a uh, s inga vandu or s term okay this is the s term appa here the coefficient of s in this two thing is br by l plus c equal to 0 and the constant okay so equating constant on both side vm omega by l equal to a into omega square plus rc by l okay so we get three equations okay so from this three, three equation either substitution method or any method our aim is to find out the value of a b and c okay ipo idella substitute panni potinga na adu romba lengthy a varum okay so direct a neenga answers vandu eludhiralam okay idha problem a solve pannum bodhu easy a vandrum okay ipo the same idhu nama problem keela paaka porom appa problem a solve pannum bodhu a b c value kandupidikiradhu it is very easy பட் இந்த மாதிரி டெரிவேஷன்ஸ் போடும்போது ஏபிசி வந்து சப்ஸ்டியூட் பண்ணி நிறைய ஸ்டெப்ஸ் வரும் ஓகே அப்ப யூ ஜஸ்ட் தட் இஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஆன்சர்ஸ் வந்து ஈஸியா நம்ம ரிமெம்பர் பண்ற மாதிரி தான் இருக்கும் எல்லாமே ஒரே மாதிரி ஆன்சர்ஸ் தான் சோ பை சால்விங் தீஸ் த்ரீ ஈக்குவேஷன் சோ வி கெட் ஏ வேல்யூஸ் விஎம் ஒமேகா எல் பை ஒமேகா ஸ்கொயர்ட் எல் ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் ஓகே த பி வேல்யூஸ் ஏ ஆன்சர் தான் பட் ஒன் மைனஸ் ஓகே யூ சி கரெக்டா So A and B value, A value plus B value வந்து minus the same answer. Vm omega L divided by omega squared L squared plus R squared. Okay, you just remember. Direct time answer எடுதலாம். The solve பண்ணும் அப்படினா, it will take இன்னும் ஒரு 2-3 pages வந்து போகும். Okay. Then similarly, C is nothing but the same. Vm by omega squared L squared plus R squared. இங்க வந்து omega L லுக்கு பதிலா, இங்க என்ன இருக்கு? Omega R என்ன இருக்கு? அவ்வளவுதா. Okay, easy and yabbo chiklama. So A and B. same answer this is plus c the minus okay c value vandu instead of this l there is a r is there okay so this is the coefficient a b c correct so we calculated and substituting what is the next step so in partial fraction method we are splitting the i of s into like this so this equation we are considering as a one okay so in this uh, we calculated the value of a b c okay 
so we have to uh, substituting the value of this a b c in this equation number 1 okay in this equation number 1 there is a the next step so pi of s can be written as so the a divided by s plus r by l then plus the b b into s correct plus c divided by s square plus omega square correct so you just spread this illana ninga ena pannalam appadina as it is ipa a a appadine vechittu ninga inverse eduthu last step la kuda ninga substitute pannalam okay appa here this numerator value is completely a value is completely constant appa you write this okay into 1 by s plus rl and similarly here in numerator two term is that split okay appa first if you are splitting na minus vm omega l uh, divided by this okay this total value appa in this numerator in two term except this l r remaining at all constant correct right? appa you take that one you can write it as uh, s minus r by l indha maari ezhudikalama okay and this one abdi as it is ezhudunga ipo in this equation so we have to split idha two va split pannunga s by s square plus omega square minus r by l by s square plus omega square okay appo parunga ellame structure la vandacha inga para indha term para indha term eppadi irukku 1 by s plus a so you know Uh, 1 by s plus a ங்கிறது கூஸ் லாப்ளஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் e பவர் -80 சிக்னலோட லாப்ளஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் தான் 1 by s plus a கரெக்ட்டா அப்ப this is நம்மளோட ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ல வந்துச்சு and you see this term இந்த டம் என்ன இருக்கு s by s square plus omega square you know s by s square plus omega square is a laplace transform of cos omega t so இதுவும் நமக்கு ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ல வந்துச்சு and one more thing here இங்க என்ன இருக்கு அப்படினா rl by s square plus omega square okay but we are having sin omega t formula what is the laplace transform of sin omega t omega by s square plus omega square up here in uh, in this numerator omega is not there appo adanal that's why i am multiplying omega in numerator and denominator for this omega by s square by omega square we can write it as a sin omega t correct okay so so we are arranged in this standard laplace transform method okay what is the next step we have to take inverse laplace transform appa if you are taking inverse laplace transform appa we will get what is the, this constant you write as it is okay what is the inverse laplace transform of this one e power minus at in the place of a what is the answer is available r by l correct and uh, uh, this is the constant you keep this constant as it is what is the inverse laplace transform of this term cos omega t and uh, you keep uh, uh, this one but this constant is uh, common for both the term appa this constant multiplied with this r minus r by l omega constant adey multiply panikonga what is the inverse laplace transform of omega by s square plus omega square it is a sin omega t correct so we got the answer okay appa in this total thing which one is constant ip edapdi vechikla illa appadina so in you see in uh, in the three terms the vm omega by omega squared l squared plus r squared is a constant you keep the you take this constant outside and you write it this one right now so this is the current flowing through the rl circuit for sinusoidal excitation okay appa based on the that is same rl circuit ku we derived three different transient response one is if unit step input is applied na the current is different value different equation kadachidu yeah in yesterday topic we discussed impulse input we are applying impulse input up at the time of impulse input we will get different output similarly for the same rl circuit if you are applying the sinusoidal input means so in the sinusoidal input apply panumoda we will get a sin answer and a cos answer okay sin omega t cos omega t we will get purinjada so this is the method so inga enna oru thing appadina inda edathula okay if the roots are ipo the partial fraction panumoda in a mari s squared plus omega squared means the s value and the two roots may vandu complex conjugate roots that is complex conjugate root means plus j a value minus j a value okay plus j minus j that is it will be the complex conjugate appa in order to solve the partial fraction method in complex conjugate appadina we have to use in the mari eludhanum okay the fraction coefficient b into s plus c divided by s square plus omega square and in the mari lcm eduthittu we have to equate it and find out the value of a b c okay va so this is the thing for uh, transient response of rl circuit for sinusoidal excitation okay so in the question vandu it's a important question idla problem um kekkalam inda derivation um kekkalam university ku 
okay ipa using idhe same circuit ku uh, we are going to solve one problem okay idhe iruk problem ora university problem 2016 la vanda or problem paakalam uh, okay you see uh, a sinusoidal voltage of 10 sin 100t okay what is 10 sin 100t enna input idu sinusoidal input okay the vm the amplitude value is 10 the omega is 100 Okay, but this sinusoidal input is connected in series with switch and R equal to this, L equal to this. So what is the circuit? R to L to the series RL circuit. Okay, so you have to draw the diagram. Here the diagram is not given, the question is given. Okay, what question is given? A sinusoidal voltage of 10 sin 100T is connected in series with a switch with resistance and inductance. Okay, the value is given. If the switch is closed at t equal to zero, determine the transient current I of t. Okay, this is the May 2016 question. Okay, अब डी इंदर क्वेश्चन ना किटा ना अब डी 13 मार्क वन क्वेश्चन. Okay, it will come. Okay, so for first you have to draw the diagram. So you draw one R one L series combination with one switch. The switch is closed when time t equal to zero. Okay, in problem itself it is mentioning. And the input voltages, you see, sinusoidal. Abdi na, you have to draw one circle. Within that, you have to draw sine wave shape. Correct? Ah, sinusoidal. And the value is this one. Okay. Ah, uh, what is the next step? You know the procedure. So here, in the given thing, no initial value is given. Apa the I of zero minus answer is zero. Okay. What is the next step? So at the time t equal to zero, the switch is closed. So the current I of t is flowing in the circuit. So we have to apply KVL. Apa what is the KVL equation? This 10 sin 100t equal to what is the voltage across the resistor? 10 into I of t. And what is the voltage across the inductor? The inductor value 0.1 into d I of t divided by dt. Very good, sir. Okay. And uh, then what is the next step? We have to take Laplace transform. Okay. L t means Laplace transform. We have to apply Laplace transform. But uh, what is the Laplace transform of sin omega t? You know, omega by s squared plus omega squared. In the place of omega, which one is that? Hundred is that. Okay, this ten you keep as it is constant. You keep it as is. The Laplace transform of this sine omega t is omega by s squared plus omega squared. Okay, equal to ten into what is the Laplace transform of I of t? Capital I of s. Then what is the Laplace transform of d I of t? S into I of s. Okay, before that constant is that point one. Okay, but similarly in this two term you take I of s is common. Okay, here you multiply, very good. Then from this you rearrange. I of s equal to write this, right? Ah, so after in this term, uh, here the s squared plus 100 squared is that, and uh, in this one the s is multiplied with 0.1. Dikshe. मा वन मिनट मा दीक्षे इधर किंडी पे हम कॉल करेंगे फोन मिलना हम फोन पनी सुल फोन पनी सुल फोन पना सुल ना अटेंड पन लड़ा अटेंड टाइम यार बाकर भी कटाई चुके सुल कॉल पना सुल तेरी यार रेडी है कमेंट सुल बाय बाय फोन पन सुल सुल आह तो जिधर सो किया दिस इज़ एस स्क्वायर इन ओमेगा स्क्वायर स्ट्रक्चर एंड इन दिस केस Yes, so da point one multiply. Because pena parno this point one you take uh, this point one as a common, correct? Ah, so you take uh, point one as common. Will you add this? Ah, point one into yes plus ten divided by point one, so it is hundred. Okay, so we will get the I of S like this. Okay, so what is the next thing? So back here you see the roots. In the root, when the real root S equal to minus hundred. This is real root. But this roots are S squared plus omega squared. अपन इन द मारी स्ट्रक्चर लंच ना व्हाट इस द रूट द टू रूट्स आर कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट रूट्स ओके अपन इन पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन मेथड डी ऑफ़ एस कैन बी रिटन एस ए बाय एस प्लस हंड्रेड प्लस बी एस प्लस सी डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस हंड्रेड स्क्वायर राइट आ सो यू टेक इट एस ए इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके अब इन दस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द And uh, rearrange it. Apa kya? This denominator, this denominator, uh, both the term gets cancelled. Then we have to expand it. Correct? We have to expand it. And in this, you see the S squared term is this two. 
by solving these three equation we will get the value of abc okay inga na solve e paniten illa appadina ninga enna pannalana inda abc ku anga nama formula paatha liya appo niya vechirukingala and the formula and the formula la kuda podu ninga direct ah abc value you will write idella and the steps e thevai illa correct ah idu vera inda ezhudite ipo idunga ninga substitution method la potala adhe answer dhaan varum and the formula la solve pannalum we will get the same answer okay you may use any method appo inga na eppadi paniken appadina in the method la first you see the equation number in the equation paranga equation number 4 in 4 a and c is there in 2 a and b is there in 3 b and c is there ellame maathi maathi irukku appo nam enna pannalam appadina from the equation number 4 ipdi dhaan pannanum illa na ref substitution la we have to obtain okay ipa na enna use panikka appadina you see uh, from this equation i calculated the c value in terms of b okay and this c value you substitute in this equation number 3 okay அப்ப ஈக்குவேஷன் நம்பர் 3 ல சப்ஸ்டிட் பண்ணா we will get a b 1 ன்ன ஒரு ஈக்குவேஷன் ஆல்ரெடி we are having equation number 2 is a b 0 ஓகே அப்ப இந்த திஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் இப்போ இந்த ரெண்டு ஈக்குவேஷனை ஆட் பண்ணோம் அப்படினா b b கேன்சல்ட் அப்ப a 2 a 1 அப்ப from this a கால்்குலேட்டட் கரெக்ட்டா அப்ப சப்ஸ்டிட்டிங் திஸ் a வேல்யூ இன் either of this equation we will get b வேல்யூ ஓகே and substituting the value of a b in this equation we will get the value of c ஓகே so you may use this one okay otherwise in the step ezhudite in the partial fraction id ezhudite id ezhudi in the in the rearrange pannite the value of a b c is calculated as nam inga the derivation la formula kodutho lya what is the value of a you see what is the value of a a is vm omega l by omega square l square plus r square appo in the given problem what is the value of vm vm ங்கிறது நாம அப்ளை பண்ற இன்புட்டோட ஆம்ப்ளிடியூட் ஆம்ப்ளிடியூட் என்ன கொடுத்துருந்தாங்க 10 கரெக்ட்டா 10 sin 10 sin 100t அப்ப அந்த 10ங்கற கான்ஸ்டன்ட் தான் vm வாட் இஸ் ஒமேகா 100 வாட் இஸ் இன்டெக்டர் வேல்யூ தி இன்டெக்டர் வேல்யூ இஸ் गिवन என்ன கொடுத்துருந்தாங்க தி இன்டெக்டர் வேல்யூ இஸ் 0.1 கரெக்ட்டா சோ அந்த மாதிரி நீங்க அந்த ஃபார்முலால சப்ஸ்டிட் பண்ணியோ நீங்க ஆன்சர் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே अदरवाइज அதெல்லாம் ஞாபகம் இல்ல அப்படினா யூ ஜஸ்ட் இது ப்ராப்ளம் சால்வ் பண்றது ஈஸி டெரிவேஷன் அப்ப தான் இட் will டேக் so much time correct so we have we are solving the abc value and after calculating this abc value you substitute in this equation number 1 correct so for the equation number 1 the i of s can be written as a by this one plus b into s plus c divided by this one okay and the next one you split okay this one you split as a two term okay and uh, this one is in the structure of 1 by s plus a this is in the structure of s by s square plus omega square but this one this idu vandha enna structure la irukano omega s e nama kondu varamudiyad appo idu omega by omega s square plus omega square appo mele enna illa omega square illa which one is omega 100 appo you just multiply in this equation you just multiply with 100 and you divide with 100 okay appo 100 ala multiply panni 100 ala divide pannu appadina that is inga vandha 50 already irukku appo just you multiply 2 and divided by 2 pannona we will get then this structure okay by using these three laplace transform pair so the first answer so if you are taking inverse laplace transform i of s the laplace inverse laplace transform is small i of t which is equal to 0.5 into what is the lap inverse laplace transform of this term e power minus 100t right appa minus 0.5 what is the inverse laplace transform of this one cos omega t and what is the inverse laplace transform of this one inga nam enna panikom here in this term Uh, we want 100 in numerator but 50 is there appa we have to multiply 2 and divide by 2 okay appa here in this one you just multiply okay inga vandu multiply by 2 and divide by 2 apdi panna value namakku change aagudhu appa 50 into 2 is 100 appa 100 divided by s square plus 100 square okay it is said to be the 1 by 2 is 0.2 okay sin omega t so this is the current flowing through the series rlc circuit correct ah so this is the answer okay so adhe derivation mari da same problem okay is is the important question idella apdi big question as it is apdi or 13 mark or 15 mark kepanga purinjida
okay so similar so similarly so we are going to uh, derive the next one okay response of rc circuit to a sinusoidal excitation okay ipo nama rl circuit paathom similarly we are going to discuss the response of rc circuit to sinusoidal excitation what is the difference instead of here inductor we have to use one capacitor okay same thing and uh, at a time t equal to 0 the switch is closed adhe same condition na so the initial value is zero appa we have to apply kvl so what is the kvl equation v of t equal to r into i of t plus what is the voltage across the capacitor 1 by c integral i of t dt okay this is the difference okay and instead of ipo inga vandha na enna panikena loss step la na and v of oda value va substitute panikela ninga inge potukalam appa here the v of t value is vm sin omega t okay ipo here i am taking uh, simplicity ka na v of t vechittu last step la v of s oda value va substitute panna pora okay so the laplace transform of r into i of t is r into i of s laplace transform of this one is i of s divided by s minus initial value here the initial value is zero so you just neglect this term okay appa similarly you just uh, take i of s common and from this the i of s can be written as like this correct ah appa v equal to v of s divided by this one appa now you substitute the value of v of s okay what is v of s laplace transform of vm sin omega t so what is the laplace transform of vm sin omega t vm omega by s square plus omega square appa we will get i of s equal to like this okay appa here one is in s square plus omega square inona s into rc irukka appa enna pannom you take rcs common let the cha veli eduthita appa cc cancel r mele kuduthirunga okay so we will get like this okay appa adhe mari method appa you see in denominator one root is real root uh, in that these two roots are s square plus omega square nala enna meaning it's a complex conjugate roots okay appa in partial fraction method so we may write i of s equal to a by s plus 1 by rc plus bs plus d a d use paniken the coefficient c ku badala a d use panikena already inga oru c irukku inda c ingiradhu capacitor appa namakku confuse aidum in previous inductor l la irundichu c illa so inga yu nee c potta appadina idu constant c ya capacitor c ya theriyad okay that's why i am using instead of the partial fraction coefficient c i am using d okay d appa same method adhe mari lcm edunga rearrange it okay equating the coefficient of s squared s term and the constant term so directly you will write the answers okay inga paru c a value is vm minus anga vandu a vandu plus b vandu minus inga vandu b plus a vandu minus okay in that rl circuit inga omega l is there but in this omega c is there okay that is a difference okay you just compare and study okay a value b value and the d value is somewhat different okay and the denominator is also different okay here in uh, three denominators are same but in rl circuit the denominator is omega squared l squared plus r squared here the different answers okay so you just see the answers okay so for substituting this a b d value in this equation number 2 uh, equation number 2 we uh, we have to the equation number 2 and we have to take inverse laplace transform okay appa the inverse laplace transform as it is the first term e power la varum idu s by s squared omega squared by s squared s by s squared omega square na cos omega t and this is in the structure of uh, omega squared by s squared omega that is omega by s squared plus omega squared is sin omega t correct right? so this is the answer for uh, transient response of rc circuit correct right? so that's all the same same method adhe rl circuit padichinga rc circuit as a similar method the only difference is that here voltage across the capacitor is 1 by c integration i dt appa the laplace transform of uh, integration of i of t is i of s by s in the previous rl circuit s into i of s varum inga vandu i of s by s okay that is the difference okay and you have to remember the answer a b and d okay ena in the three you solve panna okay it is substitution method ah solve panna but <coughs> it will take nare <coughs> time eduthuko so you just uh, by got this answers okay a b c d moonume easy da denominator same numerator a and b is same okay d matum somewhat different ah irukku omega power 3 c power 2 r okay descending la indha maari irukku purinjida so similarly 
uh, we have to study the response of RLC circuit to sinusoidal excitation. Okay, they must be solved for doing that. Okay, so the one thing you can read the book. This is a photocopy. So that's all. This uh, is the one excitation. What is excitation? Na? Exponential excitation. Okay. So in this fourth unit, we will talk about the excitation, exponential excitation, which is in the class level, the problem is the fourth unit over. Okay. So in fourth unit, the transient analysis of RL, RC, RLC circuit for four different input. Okay. So this is three different input to discuss. Okay. Uh, that is uh, one is unit step input. Unit step input is another name DC excitation, DC input. Okay. The second one is impulse input. Okay. And the third one is a sinusoidal excitation. The sinus maximum and in the sinusoidal excitation, unit step excitation. This is the repeated. Okay. Sometime in the derivation kekla, most of the time when the problem da. Okay, when the derivation other the derivation in the method, then we problem solve. Correct? 